Shalom, everyone. I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for a chit chat. If you're new, I just get on here sometimes and I just chit chat. I used to do tarot on this channel. I went through a huge process, okay? And uh, those of you who know me know that I'm not religious, but I bring all kinds of stuff out from uh, religious literature and stuff like that, first of all, because that was lodged on the inside of me, for those of you who are new, uh, since I was little. And when you uh, lodge something on the inside of someone, it's really hard sometimes to shake things off, and you really have to study to see who you are, who other people are, who the great divine of the whole universe is and is not. And uh, when you understand that there is a spiritual side of things, and those of you who have a connect, obviously it's a, you guys are connected to this channel, and, and I'm a very spiritual person as I always have been, then obviously you've got something spiritual within you as well. Then you hopefully you're searching for the truth. I bring out all kinds of st things on this channel that could be very deep and that will make you maybe even feel like, oh, uh, this is kind of strange or confusing. I never want to bring confusion out on this channel, but there are a lot, look, nobody can ever really figure out the great divine. There's so much out there inside the universe itself. You and I will actually never uh, figure all of it out, but we are always supposed to be striving uh, to find the heart of the most high and the wisdom so that we are not duped. Okay. Cause we do know that that realm really does exist. And uh, people have opened things up in this realm, brought things in, uh, into the themselves even and now we got to deal with cuckoos out there like that okay and some of these people are literally inside the church like I've already brought out in the book of Revelation it tells you to get out of the churches because the woman is sitting on a reptilian energy snakish type dragon itself and drunk on the on the blood it says and blood blood represents your life force okay and it states to get out of them churches, my people, because that that uh, church is drunk on the blood of the saints is what it's stating. And we really are in a time in history where um, it, it's vital. We see all kinds of stuff going on right now in a spiritual sense, you know, with this coronavirus. I stated um, not too long ago, I got on here a few videos back, if it's still up on my channel. I, I really did a lot of... Uh, deleting today on a lot of things on my channel at the same time there were some things that i could uh delete there were some things that i kept and just uh locked on my channel there were some things that i couldn't get into to completely delete so i had to, to lock and for whatever reason why uh, uh, it just happened to be that way uh, but I stated on here that a, a few years ago i was standing at my window and i happened to look out and um I, I, I perceived in my spirit something that was so real, but I knew it was a vision. Uh, at the same time, uh, it was so real, okay, and was happening in the now and now uh, moment then when I seen it. It was a um, carnivorous running down the street as if the divine just literally just showed me something, and that would take you back to dinosaur type reptilian energy. Um, and now we're dealing with the Corona virus and Corona carnivorous. There is a connection there. It came from China. That'll take you back to a dragon like energy. And it, it, if you followed this channel at all, you've seen some really profound um, spiritual insight uh, within the divine himself coming right down here and showing a thing uh, in a very tangible way so that we would wake up and understand what hour we really are in and entering into. And if people don't wake up and come alive to the fact of, oh my gosh, it really is dangerous in what we think about. I talked the other day and did a whole video about imagery and the imagination itself. And scripture talks about imagination. And again, I'm not religious, but there's true and false in that book. And we've already extensively went over several things. If you take it back to the root of the word and how things play out. And like I said, on this channel, for the last few years, we've seen how words expressively will manifest itself by way of phonics in which the divine told me not to discard any phonics in the way you look at something. Also, you know, uh, I, I look at words uh, front and back 
Okay, I, I, because the original languages will actually take you to reading from the right to the left. Okay, not from the left to the right. At the same time, we're in a history. We are in time of history where we do read from the left to the right. But if we don't go back to the ancient ways, you're going to miss out on a lot of things, and it could cost you. It could cost your children. It could because we really are in a spiritual war with what I talked about the other day with archons. Okay, archons, and that would take you back to magistrates, and it would just take you back to magic, and it's real spiritual stuff that's always existed in the earth, okay? It has been opened up in a lot of, and we've got organizations that people literally join themselves to, and that actually go back to archonic energy as well. I believe when I spoke about uh, that on a video that I did, it is connected to organizations, and uh, actually, I think that was the Greek root, the Greek word uh, that we find in the New Testament where Paul's talking about uh, musterion, which was the uh, the mystery of iniquity type of stuff, which it all traces back. To to dragon type reptilious energy okay so I said all of that to go into something that I wanted to speak about let's talk about because we've talked about on here where there's all kinds of different uh, language going on in the scripture itself is it, to me I feel that a lot of that stuff was given for mind control uh, back in the day whenever the day was when they gave this stuff and we go back to um church-like energies again where it tells you in the book of revelation to get out of the churches because the church is considered a a, 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 a woman uh or a feminine energy and, and it's given us a picture in the book of revelation where the woman itself is the is actually the catholic and the protestant churches are are being told to us in the book of revelation that they're now um that the catholic church is what birthed forth the protestant churches and that'll take you right back in revelation where that is talking about a prostitute itself okay so anyway um oh gosh uh, let me just skip all that and just get to the chase okay i don't want to get sidetracked on things i've got a lot of stuff here that i do want to and if it's scattered from this point on it's because i was just jotting down all kinds of stuff and what i was researching when the spirit was bringing some things through my spirit okay uh so i apologize just keep up do your own study which you should you shouldn't just listen to what just somebody says okay if something's resonating with you it's resonating for you to go search a thing out because you and i have to search a thing out we should be able to come to one another and uh help one another uh, in, in trying to find the truth. Okay, we've got too many people lying and, and being overtaken by that demonic uh, spiritual realm in a negative sense that's been opened up that would want to um, uh, uh, literally uh, take your life source away from you and who you really are at your core and what you're really uh, connected uh, and created for and to is the, the divine of truth and, and, and a living truthful pure energy of source that should be operating through you but so many people have opened themselves up to negative stuff and we take that back to snakish energy okay Th this evening i was um just i don't know sometimes the spirit just speak through me and just say go look this up or sit and meditate for a second and what i already know about some things that i've already uh studied on he'll have me go in a little bit deeper about some things okay i share stuff on this channel for just public record and to help others we should be helping one another uh, a lot of people have been duped the scripture itself and like i said scripture's got positive and negative truth and false within it okay it was a mixture of things for a lot of people for mind control okay back in the day that's what they had uh, people write down things to to, to uh, woo you or to move you in a certain way and use it for mind control and maybe even some people didn't even know that they were being operating that they were operating in, in uh, and through that type of a spirit but many people were okay and even today are and that's why we find the world in such a dark place and people groping in the darkness who wants to be blind and dumb and in death i don't think anybody does okay um but anyway we we see let's go back to the old testament real quick again i apologize if this kind of i'm uh, trying to get a whole bunch of information out in a really short time because my um video will only go back to so many minutes okay we go back into the old testament um 
where, let's just go back to Moses. We already brought out the other day in the book of Jeremiah where he said, look, I never even said to that anything to you about sacrifices. But we see sacrifices all over the scripture. Okay, again, things that have been mixed in. Why would you, why would a living God tell you to kill something? That doesn't make any sense to me, but anyway. Uh, that goes back to snakish energy to me. Uh, but Jeremiah is stating if you hear the voice, that was the law. Okay, really. But but let's just go back to Moses. For those of you who do sacrifices and kill people and little children, got lots of blood on your hands. If you don't repent, you're really going to burn for eternity. Okay, if, if it's possible for you to hear something in truth and if you got mixed up in some things, you got mixed up in it. And for whatever reason, the divine's bringing some type of grace uh, for you to literally wash your hands from that stuff. Then I would suggest you would do it. Because like I said, we're going back here in, in even society society itself and many people are being killed off and dying and all kinds of stuff in the here and now go back to Moses and, and he actually used a serpent a, a bronze serpent that he held up on top of a uh, cross energy itself and they he told the Israelites if you look at this you'll be healed it was a picture of a serpent okay if you go in the book of Isaiah it tells you that he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquity and that bruising goes back to garden like energies where we were told that the woman could uh, step on the serpent's head, and he would the serpent would bruise the heel, um, but uh, the head of the serpent would be bruised. So there was bruising going on on both sides of that. We talked the other day about after the flood, and it got so horrible in the earth that everybody actually stems right back to Noah itself, and that word uh, that would take you back to Noah for the word man when it's stating that Elohim created man in his own image took you back to the word Adam if you go look in the Strong's he uh, the Strong's concordance today online and that's what they're trying to kill off because people are being influenced by a demonic realm and bringing it into this realm and don't realize what they're doing and they're believing wholeheartedly in the snakish like energy archons and they're getting caught up and they're, literally the whole world is killing itself okay so therefore we've got prophecy that really is unfolding in a very literal sense by way of a spiritual sense because people have opened themselves up and corrupted church like energies or temple like energy then really we're just supposed to listen to the voice of truth really people i want to go back so like i said earlier um so that snake taking us back to uh moses in the um wilderness okay and then we got the church it's showing that he was lifted up and we see that same uh, 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 corresponding energy uh, of the snake being lifted up where Moses said if you look upon that snake that you'd be healed and then here is uh, Christ itself being portrayed as that very thing in the New Testament and and dying and being bruised and bringing salvation so there is a, a, a connection to serpent energies there in both the Old and the New Testament um, this like I started to say, I begin to, to hear the, the divine speak to me about the serpent tonight. And uh, it was in the e early evening when I was um, getting this message from the Most High. And, uh, you know, uh, I heard red and yellow kills a fella is what I actually heard. And we know that's a snake. And that'll take you to the red, yellow, and black snake that is very venomous. Okay? But we're told that when... Um, the Lord God in the second chapter of Genesis, which we've already uh, uh, spoke uh, on this channel about in the book of ha uh, Habakkuk, we're told that God came from Teman and the Holy One, which, the, which we're told over and over and over in the scripture that the Holy One is the Holy One of Yisrael, which actually takes you back to Moses, which will take you back to Christ being up on that uh, 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 the cross, which we know the cross is the T, which is the Tav, which is is the mark of what the beast energy or to mark out a place uh okay uh, it, all this connection is it, really got to keep up okay if i'm losing you then i guess you're getting lost and you really need to go back and just li listen over and over on what's being said about the serpent energy uh because it really is um 
connected. I heard red and yellow kill a fella, and that will take you back to a serpent energy. Okay, not all snake energy is venomous, but we are told that the um, the snake itself, it, when it was created, that it was the the wisest that was uh, created uh, among the beasts. Okay, but it's also told we're also told in the book of Genesis that there's a connection to cattle there, which we've already also extensively talked about those of you who have followed this channel and uh those of you you might not even be able to find those videos now because i've deleted so many videos today but anyway there is a connection with the ninth letter of the hebrew which is the it's the snake in the basket but it's actually a picture in the old hebraic pictograph language it is a, an o with an x that is the word in our english language of an ox and so therefore there is your cow now the other day so there's a connection there the other day i, I it's just side note i was at the grocery store and i happened to get me some crackers which were a uh, cheese bites cheese bites interesting that connection still there even playing out expressively today whether it's done uh, uh, in, intentionally or just by way it's just coming out and expressing itself spiritually in this realm it was still there there were still cheese cheese comes from a cow and a bite is there whoever heard of a cow biting maybe cows do bite but we do know that the ox is connected there in the Hebrew in the living language that still lives today and is still connected to the snake in the basket and the pictograph is an ox which is a cow energy okay so we know like i said over and over we've seen it over and over how spirit expresses it, itself through words in such a mighty way people don't pay attention it really could cost you and your children and your home life uh, your life itself okay so I heard that tonight, red and yellow kill a fellow, and it goes back to the serpent energy. And even though we do know that all serpents are not venomous, they still are a serpent and they are wise. The, cur the coral snake would go back to coral it went back to in the root many years ago, and I've shared it on this channel before, that I heard the divine say, to the root, to the root, to the root. And I seen this cord uh, or this rope being unfrailed. At that time, I had no idea that the 23rd, I think it's the 23rd letter of the Hebrew, is actually a picture of a rope, and it's intertwined, and it kind of looks like DNA. Uh, but if you look at it, it kind of has that feel to it, but it's actually a a rope and it's it's called the twisted uh, rope and it's a dark twisted energy and it's connected to the goat god and we know we, this, just not too long ago I went back and and uh, the goat god is connected to serpent like energies that fell from heaven and there's a connection there okay I won't go into all of that because time on my head there's a part two already on this but coral snake went back to the word chiefly at the root so when the divine told me years ago to go to the root to the root to the root he didn't just tell me to go to the root of something he told me to go back three times because a three-fold cord we're told in scripture is, is is really hard to unfold or break forth but yet in that vision that he showed me he literally unfrailed it for me okay and then i began to go on this journey that i've been on for the last three years okay to unfold something actually we're told in the book of isaiah uh for the daughter of zion to unloose those her own cords okay well we talked uh, recently about cords and binding energy that was connected back to that musterio greek word that paul was talking about the mystery of iniquity took us right back to palladian type energy and the palladians is a star system in the zodiac itself which would take you back to alien type energies okay again everything is intertwined intertwined the snake will take you back to to, to, to winding something the word wind w-i-n-d is also the word wind speaking we know the serpent speaks out of both sides of its mouth okay you got to really pay attention when somebody's around you uh and, and speaking listen to what you are feeling on the inside don't just go by mere feelings but listen to that still small voice okay we do have pure heart of people that also have been uh, uh mixed up in some things and, and, and you and i both been there that, that, that we've been coming out and untwining things that have been twined around us at the same time when you know when somebody
somebody pure in their heart is speaking to you even if something might be a little off you know if they're being pure or not and there is a difference to all that anyway the word coral also has a feel of corral in there which there's the connection again to the serpent and to the snake it took me back when I went to the root of that again it went back to chiefly well the chief the head the man the boss what does the church itself let me just side note again the church will tell you we are the head and not the tail well we're also told in scripture that the head represents the old ancients or the older men and the tail will take you back to the prophet who lies and a liar will speak out of both sides of its mouth and we know a snake has uh, the tongue has a, it's it's it look it's it's it, there's a serpent energy there it looks like a y it has two parts to it itself we're told that the tongue and the heart is also connected and we can also find scripture that talks about people having a double heart a out of the heart the mouth will speak okay but this coral snake went back to something chiefly okay it wants to raise itself up chief we can find even the word chief in our United States as far as football goes. The foot itself goes back to a serpent and the heel. And what I found actually was absolutely incredible in my research on this stuff. Because we know, again, that the foot goes back to crushing the head of the serpent. Okay. And um, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, th this goes back to though. Th so let me just get let me just go to my notes real quick. It's so much here. A coral snake um, chiefly energy was found there. It was character characteristically having a bright red, yellow, and black bands. Bands bands will bind you again it takes us right back to the church energy that we were looking at in revelation itself where the seven stars which we trace that back to the um palladian energy and they were being judged because the seven stars were also the churches and then you keep on going like i stated that you it read in revelation and it says now uh the church itself which was a whore and the mother of whores going back to catholic and protestant churches was drunk on blood a serpent energy that it was sitting on the dragon it's so huge now it's a dragon itself right a chief of a sort wisdom is found there okay but we're supposed to have wisdom beyond snakish energy okay to be able to step on that serpent stuff but that band energy was being found there and a threefold band of color was there okay the red the yellow and the black okay uh, we also had uh, so this took me back to the coral snake went back to many serpents is what it stated and venomous energy and uh, others that also it stated that were not marked with red with actually it said uh, venomous and others not marked with red zones red zone well, we see a red zone that's like a caution energy right suggesting uh that th there's there's something that's going to be like a coral energy there because cheese will bite you okay cheese bites <laughs> it, it went back to south america energy southern usa was found there in the connections and bright bands again yellow red and black energy it all this also went back to a reef R E E F. It went back to a, a a rock that was connected to a ridge that is underwater. This is where we also find in the New Testament where they're saying that there will be no more sea, and the word is S E A, like the ocean. Okay, uh, we know that we've already traced back the dragon as a tannin. It was the word in the Hebrew, but it took us back to the ocean energy itself. Okay, it actually had a connection to the rib there, and the word. Sail, S-A-I-L, was also connected there. Well, the rib will take you back to Adam and Eve in the very first operation that had ever taken place where it says the Lord God, Jehovah, Elohim separated that rib, right? And, uh, and it's interesting because we're talking about arc 
type energies, the ark went back to water itself, which we've already talked about when the heavens were opened and uh, as above, so below. And the eighth house is a dark water type energy. Take you back to scorpion energy. The New Testament tells us that we have uh, power over serpents and scorpions, which uh, if you take that back to the Hebrew, it will literally mean under the heel. Okay. Um, <laughs> amazing. Um, so we know also in the Hebrew, the word, uh, 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 that word ship, which the word ship in the Hebrew means a serpent, but a ship in the English goes back to like a, uh, um, a boat, right? There's a song that the church itself will sing. I'm going to take a trip on the good old gospel ship. That's interesting. I just thought that was really interesting. It came through my spirit when I was doing the study, and I won't elaborate on that. Let's keep going on. Um, so this word also took me to a connection of um, limestone and chalk and a spur. It took me back to mental something, uh, or I'm sorry, not mental. <laughs> well, there is mental energies there for poisonous things. People, have, it's crazy. But anyway, it actually took me back to metal. That's interesting because they, we are also told in the book of uh, Daniel that they would come and try to mix themselves, the metal and the clay. And we get this picture of, um, uh, different, uh, it, it's a, it's a picture of a man, but it's got different, um, uh, connections to different kingdoms to that and the feet of that feet okay going back to the feet again is being able to step on a serpent was mixed with metal and clay and here we are in history right now okay this literally took me back to the snake itself then with this limestone and this chalk and this metal it took me back to the ankle well where are we at in the procession of the zodiac well we're in aquarius and knowing something is what that house represents the 11th house is knowing something um the the which actually the 11th house goes back to the ankles interesting interesting so um <laughs> To kick something is also what this took uh, me back to. And it literally said to drive away and the heel itself was there. All right. So uh, let's see what else that I have written down. Here. Let me just try to get all this in one um in one video so the Ouroboros remember if uh, I had spoke on this channel a couple different videos I don't know if you can still find that because like I said I deleted so many things today uh, it went back to the Ouroboros uh, the Ouroboros Okay, a boar is there, and we've talked about a boar before, and that take you back to pigs, and pigs in the New Testament take you back to demonic entities. It's a very, very poisonous things with a pig. It's an unclean animal. We also have the word or is oh it's a Ouroboros O R the row is there a row will take you back to a man well we have Roman, and the church literally came from Romans right. Um, it's there. The Ra is there. We already spoke about the Ra. Ra means evil. And we know a boar. And you run a boar back into itself. It's a raw boar. Right? And it does that, that spirit wants to rob you and I. And that a boar is... I just watched a video yesterday on somebody hunting a boar. And this thing was huge. And uh, talk about mean. They'll just chomp through your bones and everything. And then we have the... And, and look, the Catholic Church... And I'm not getting on churches, but I am because right there in scripture itself people are just blinded to things and they don't pay attention to what the spirit's speaking to you okay um the, it, 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 they, they they really do show that ouroboros is a picture of a snake itself eating its own rear end okay uh, anyway the so or is the row it's a man okay we know the devil's already a man we've already taken that back the ra is a bone stuff itself the ra it means evil in in uh hebrew in the boar we just went over that it's a, it, it'll hold it, it, it we, we got energies of uh christ himself casting the demons out of that and the 
I S is C. It's to be able to see something. It's also the phonics of S E A. C, the where the serpent, the, the stuff is. That literally took me back to a snail, a shackle, and we also know a king or, or a snake can go back to a king. I read scripture not too long ago that the divine stated that he was going to judge the kings. Okay? It went back to creeping, and a snake will creep on its belly. I'm trying to hurry up because I don't have so much time. So I literally found in my studying studies that uh, the snake etymology went back to a still coil as well and we know a snake will coil up it went back to a snake constellation but we also know that there's a constellation of a red dragon up there as well red deer right and deers are fed to the dragon energetically physically and emotionally and all that kind of stuff it actually had a connection to virgo and cancer and my time's going to be up and i'm just going to make this one uh video so go do your own research this was profound what the divine showed me here and uh it is what it is so you either have a, 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 a pure heart about you and you're going to be saved or you're going to be caught up in all this stuff and you're going to be eight okay because it is really expressively showing itself to you and i and there's a reason why the divine's bringing this out so that you can be saved because the divine loves you and i he wants you to live and not die shalom